A couple of weeks ago, we spent some time at our local Boys and Girls Club uh, here in Lakewood to do a shooting and STEM clinic. I just want to say before I go any further that anybody who watches this video is helping us achieve our mission and is allowing us to do more of these STEM clinics. Our mission, as we've said in many of our other videos, is to get rid of the pay to play and have an even playing field for all. This Boys and Girls Club had some more advanced players, so we got to do some more advanced drills. So stick around and see what they are. We started this clinic the same way we start all of our clinic, and it's partner form shooting. Whether a player is new or an experienced player, fine tuning their form can really help improve their shot. Take your foot, you slide it to the head of your other foot. See how it's, I'm about shoulder width apart, front foot a little bit up. Put your elbow at a 90 degree, out, 90 degree angle here, and load your wrist. So it's nice and back, nice and back and ready to shoot it, okay? Then you put the ball in here, and you want a little tiny gap between the bottom of the ball and your palm, and then your off hand comes in, and just on the side. You'll make what looks like a T with your shooting hand to your other hand. You see how there's a little T there? Yeah. It's gonna be a little farther away from your hand, but probably a little smaller than mine. One arm. It's gonna be a little bit out. But you load it up right here, and when you shoot, you use your legs, you shoot up, and your hand goes in the cookie jar. So you snap your elbow, and you pretend that you're reaching on the very top shelf to try and get a cookie out of the cookie jar, okay? You don't want to hear, you want to split. Yep, just like that. Split. And remember, your off hand does nothing but holding the ball still. You need to hold your hand like this, or even as a brick. Just to practice. Yeah, you don't want to judge your hand, but this is how we learn to not use our hand. We don't want to use our thumb, okay? Alright, so I want you to shoot to your partner up in the air, like this. Back and forth, and I'm going to go around and give you some tips, okay? We usually only do partner shooting for about 5-10 minutes max. Kids get bored of it pretty quickly, but it's such an important part to get a feeling for shooting before they start looking at the basket. For this reason, we find it imperative that we start each clinic this way. The next drill that we do is the form shooting drill, and it's essentially taking the same drill that we just did and using a hoop. While walking around talking to the kids while they're doing this drill, I focus on the simple fundamentals for the kids that are just learning how to shoot. And for the kids that are more advanced, I will challenge them to see how quickly they can make their three and step back. Does it take you five shots, ten shots, or how many to make it to your next level? Compete against your partner. This adds a little bit of a game to it. The only thing I do not focus on is how far back do you get. We don't want kids going back farther than they can because it could ruin their shot 
uh, forcing them into bad habits. They're going to eventually get to the point where they can shoot from farther out. But there's no reason to get there faster than their body's ready to. Next, we go into a game called free throw golf, so we don't risk losing their attention. Those of you that follow our channel know the rules of free throw golf, but it's pretty simple. A swish is worth negative one, a make is worth zero if it hits the rim, and a miss is worth plus one. The goal is to get the lowest possible score. Here I challenged one of the campers to see if they could beat me in a game of free throw golf. The reason we like free throw golf is it's a fun way to work on your free throws under pressure like they're shot in a game. Usually we do 9 or 18 uh, shot game, but since we were time restricted, we did 5. Marcus had a respectable score of negative 1, and I'm going here, and I switched my first one to get me to negative 1 as well. Switched my second one to get me to negative 2. Getting kind of cocky, talking trash, and proceed to brick. Getting me back to tied with Marcus, and brick again. To go down one, comes down to the last shot, see who would win. And I make it, but I hit the rim, so I lost. One of the clinic favorite games that we play is bump. Here we've got, Marcus and I were teaching everybody how to play. And of course, uh, I didn't want to lose to him again. But I blew the layup, and he embarrassed me again. Then we ended up doing a game with all of the campers. And here is the footage from the final two campers left. Since I couldn't beat Marcus at anything, I had to send in the muscle, and she was able to beat him for me. Since we had some more advanced players in this clinic, we were able to split out some of them and do some more advanced drills. This one is just a simple elbow to elbow shooting drill. And then we'll transition into the rip and go shooting drill. And like with all our clinics, we like to have some aspect of STEM. Yeah. 
Hey, what are y'all doing? Making apps? Yeah, coding. Coding? Wanna well, tell me about yours? Training game. Um, like targets. I was gonna write accuracy here, but I didn't have room. But that's gonna be where your score is. And you have to try to hit these targets. This is if you're playing with two people. And I'm working on a mini game. Cool. This is a basketball game. I wanna. So say that you're the player right here. Instead of wanting, instead of wanting to get a mid range, you wanna dunk. You could like choose your dunk. You could do it, the Jumpman logo. You could do it backwards. Or if I add more, and then up here on the left corner, top right, it shows that it shows your player, and it shows your play style, and then this is the logo. That's cool. Mm -hmm. I like it. You make that app? I, I want to. Yeah. yeah. This game and it's like a basketball game, and so like you have to go against like people that are like not like real people, and like you have to keep leveling up, and you have like powers stuff. So like when you like are like like a high level, you get, you go against a boss, and then if you win the boss, you get to go against like other bosses and like wizards and stuff. You all have like a you can choose your element of power. That's cool. Can I see your picture? I'm not finished with it. Oh okay.